What is up? Welcome to another Urban Master Experiment. And Apprentice. So today's project is we're going to work on this BMW. We found the vacuum leak last time with our smoke machine. And now we're going to fix it. We determined that the cause of a vacuum leak was a bad injector seal and we have to replace it. Before we can get to injectors, we have to disassemble this top stuff. So the first step is to remove the cabin air filter. Now to remove these covers, there are two latches on the two sides, one here, one here. Just like that. Yeah, that just on straps. And now we're gonna remove this plastic piece. Like this. Yep. Remove this sensor. And now the entire piece should theoretically lift up. So now that we took everything out, we have perfect access to the top of the engine. And on this particular BMW, the beauty cover is being held by only two, two screws, thanks to the guy who was working on this before me. Let's take it off, just like that. So now that we have a top of the engine exposed, we're going to start by removing these two clips. So now we have access to the six fuel injectors, and this is our fuel rail. It is pressurized, and we have to drain it first. So this is our pressure relief valve. It works just like a bicycle valve. Now, we can disconnect this fuel supply line. So this is the 18 millimeter nut that we have to undo to release this. I don't have my 18 mil range, so I'm gonna have to improvise. That wasn't that bad. All right, smoke break. <laughs> <laughs> so this contraption was totally on my way and annoying. So we used this couple of bungee cords to keep it out of my way. And now we're finally ready to take the injectors out. We have four balls, one, two, three, and the fourth one down there. We're going to undo this four 10 mil bolts. It's kind of loose. This is the fourth one. All right, so now we should be able to just pull it out. Oh. And there they are. Oh, they look nice and burned up. Look at this o-ring, it's all squished up. Can you do a zoom in with the camera? Look at this, no wonder. The fifth guy, actually all of them are pretty bad, pretty bad and chewed up. But the fifth one is just destroyed. And of course, it's all wet here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all the o-rings. I have this tiny screwdriver and we have to be super careful. And here's our troublemaker.
see. Can't really see the damage, but it is it is much harder than the other ones. And the last one, of course, impossible. Got it. Okay. We're going to use this seafoam spray cleaner to clean these carbon deposits. Um, they recommended this at AutoZone, so we'll see how good this thing is. Not bad. Try not to touch the end of it. Not really good either. And now we're gonna install the O-rings. So I'm prepping my new O-rings. Gonna dip it in oil a little bit so it installs easier. Nice, one down. Actually, I'm going to do the hardest one now. We got number six. I got some of this seafoam on this rug. I'm just gonna wipe the ends. Very gently. Okay, so we have the injectors nice and clean uh, and ready to install. One thing, this is not a true injector cleaning. If I have to do that, that will be much more involved sending seafoam through injectors. But this is just to outside getting rid of this carbon buildup. We're going to start the assembly, and this is where you have to be very careful not to touch the ends with to anything. It's supposed to snap in. Sorry. 
Sorry, YouTube. It was right inside. Nice. It is, it is rather tricky to get those bolts. So one trick we could use is to put a little paper towel on a bolt before putting it in a socket. And even though this is not a magnetic socket, now the bolt is stuck here. Number two. We don't want to get them too tight, just get them started. We're going to do number three now. And the last guy. I don't want to jinx it, but I thought it was going to be much harder to get the last one. Now just snug them in. I'm not getting them tight, just snug. And do this evenly. Okay, now we're gonna snug the bolts. I'm not going too crazy, because this is aluminum after all. Once again, going the other way. Perfect. I'm gonna put this valve cover. and connect this fuel supply line. Okay. I'm gonna install this harness now. Mm -hmm. And now, finally, we can have a moment of truth. We're gonna try to start it. Should we go for a drive? I'm not gonna patch it up just yet. We're gonna go for a test drive. So the key is, let's see if it idles okay. Yeah, it looks perfect. And it sounds perfect. Yeah. Now we're gonna install this plastic cover first. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good view from my side. Done, another successful project. So we just used our smoke machine and a set of O-rings to fix the vacuum leak in this car. Had we taken it to a dealer, it would probably cost us hundreds of dollars. 
but this was a $15 project and a couple hours of work. And if you like this video, share it with your friends, hit that like button and subscribe. Take it easy guys.